whoever is not matching that energy out of your life i am telling you these things i always took for granted but when i came to the realization of this whoa. but remember if you don't do that you're going to put in a lot to take in a lot of garbage into your life this garbage is going to clutter you you know what happens to a cluttered colon it's colon cancer so you're going to put a lot of garbage in your life before you know your life is a whole cancer and a mess and then you're going to be envious of us who are going to be aging like hello my wine. champion buddies my good people it's arena tl here thank you for tuning in if you've been watching me all the way from all the trips and uh, my farm videos i'm just from the farm thank you so much for the support and in case you have any questions about growing maize and all that i'm also doing my researches and all that uh i'll be glad to answer you yeah came back you guys i came back from the farm when my skin is hey you woo, woo. okay most cases when i'm at the farm i always cover myself but this time it was short notice i was just on a rush to finish anything because that time was not on my side when is time ever on my side never and you guys what i do after long hard work like that what i do i pimp myself up i go for steam i go steam bath i go for all those treats like you can see <laughs> hey do some deals do some body scrub do some sleeping like some rest those are things i used to take for granted i've always been doing them but not so much intentional about them but you guys some work can be so draining so so draining that's why even uh, i can be on the farm and i'm not even able to create content can you imagine yeah but nevertheless i think it's been a long time long time yes i know i've not been consistent but not long time no video long time no such kind of video whereby just talking and connecting and working out life with you guys yeah so today i'm going to be preparing breakfast for myself alone yep and um my go-to breakfast is katogo that is matoke yeah mixed with something else so you guys i have a uh, concern you know I'm, i belong to the comment section so that's why i rarely do these kinds of videos but when i do them i really need your engagement maybe you share your experiences i'm peeling matoke so for quite some time actually this year began on a very bad note if you've been on this channel you know I think it affected me somewhere somehow but with the help of my therapist <laughs> my therapist has done a great job though it's been long time ever since I did more sessions I think I should do because I've been so much traveling but I'm going to redo the sessions again so my therapist has done a very good job but for quite some time uh, I've not been doing the sessions. so they began on a bad note and that bad not really escalated that yeah if you watch those videos you watched but i have something to discuss with you guys share your experiences so for quite some time i've been so you cutting please behave i am addressing the nation for quite some time i've been so involved in the people i call my friends when i call you my friend i am involved in your life <laughs> and i did notice i didn't notice that i was too much into my friends lives not even too much i was so involved because for me when you're friends your family i was so involved to the point that people started taking me for granted and also Though this I didn't notice immediately, I was not getting the same vibes back. And when I realized, it took time, actually after therapy is when I paused most of the things in my life to start studying my relationships, to start paying attention to myself, like to everything else. But first of all, myself. It started with me, how I relate with other people and then how other people relate with me and i realized i was so much invested in people's lives than people 
way invested in my life. So, uh, which I did, by the way, without expectation. I did without expectation. So I said, you know what, Irina, go slow, come sahid. But in this going slow, now I started to pay more attention to the events that had happened to me before because of friends or the people around me. And a part of me started refraining, like staying away from people deliberately. I was like, no way. I cannot believe people did this much to me and I didn't notice because I was so much on caring for them, on giving my best to them and they did this so much to me and I didn't notice. And one thing I've also come to learn that when people do so many bad things to you consistently and you're consistently doing good, which the Bible says don't give up the heart of doing good, but sometimes it rubs off as if you are, how is it called in English? Like, like you're tying yourself on people. So after some time, I realized, I'm like, Irina, this is not healthy. This is not healthy for you. I'm like, what? Actually, I was shocked at myself. How I was not paying attention to myself, to my body, to my life, to my likes, to my hobbies. And all that time is invested in other people who don't even appreciate it. Most of them, actually, I realized, did not appreciate that time. I was so broken on realization of that. And then it put me in a place of timidness, like I'm like, oh, people, no, I'm away from people. That also a period took me some time. Like people know period, that people know period took me also some time, a month or two. But when I have sat, after sitting down, oh, it's coming to rain. After sitting down and realizing, guys, what is life without people? You cannot entirely stay away from people. You cannot entirely stay away. Even God needs people. Guys, so I'm like, who am I? I was like, who am I? No when someone is passing, they greet. Who am I to stay away from? Even God himself needs people. So that's the point I've come to talk about today. No matter what people have done to you, the bad things. I have a friend, Dama. Dama always, actually, if there is anything I've learned from Dama, um, she always tells me, good people are out there. Yes, there are bad people, but also good people are out there. So even in that point of my life where I was like, no, I'm done with people, that voice kept echoing in my ear. By the way, Dama is a Kenyan content creator. So that voice of hers kept echoing in my ears that good people are out there. And that's when I decided, okay, I have to give this a chance again. Trust people again. Live with, the, like, you know, accommodate people again. And I'm at that point in life. I Surely, I, I truly understand that different people have different experiences. A lot of things happen in life and you truly want to be like, I want to give up on people. But even if you look through it all, even you, you're not the perfect one. Sometimes you give headache to your friends. But also, we cannot completely live without people. As people, we need company. Yes, you can be your own company, but at some point, you'll need an extra hand of company. Um, sometimes you need to be hard. You're not only going to hear yourself. Sometimes you need another, not sometimes, you need another person to hear you. You need to be comforted. You will not comfort yourself at all times. You need another person to comfort you. And even you, Christians be like, I run to God uh, for comfort, but still God uses different people to bring that comfort to you. You get, so you cannot entirely stay away from people. You need to be respected. Yes, respect yourself first, but it's other people to respect you. You need security. You're not going to. You will give yourself a, 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 a bare minimum for security, but you need other people to provide that to you. Like we need each other. We need for complementary issues, uh, so we cannot entirely stay away from people. Otherwise, what is this world going to be when without people? So for you, when you say you're tired of people, it's like you're saying you want to be in this world alone. Who is going to drive you? Who is going to sell to you? Who is going to... The other day my friend was telling me that 
I think this stubborn friend of ours sometimes are just keeping our blood pressures in check. <laughs> But I don't want mine in check anyway. But I want to re-echo. No matter the bad experiences you've had with people. No matter how bad. How wicked. People have proved to be to you. I just want to give you hope that. Good people are still out there. Good people are still out there. One reason you should even. Be more. Uh, acceptive of. The fact that good people are still out there. Even you are not perfect. Even you to some people, you're bad. <laughs> you don't talk well. Every time you open your mouth, you're not edifying. You're just breaking people. So it should not be a way of like to, to keep you in position where you collect nonsense from people that because you're also not perfect. But it should be a way of being considerate. Yeah, do not block yourself from the goodness of the good people who are there. So because you've gone through the bad things, then you sh your eye should be quick to detect the bad in people and you move away. But also, be hopeful that good people are out there. Surely good people are out there. And I've come to the realization of that. And I've found peace in that. And I just came to share with you guys. And more so Christians. Oh, me, God is enough. Even God needs people. Even God uses people to bless people. So you cannot stay away from people. We just have to learn ways of managing our relationships, our interpersonal relationships. But if your intrapersonal is not yet good, your interpersonal may not be so good. Yeah. So, but I feel, even when I talk about this, that... Uh, Women, I think I want to side my conversation around women. Women are more are more invested in people's lives, other people's lives, respective of men or women, than people are involved. And we find ourselves as women, we are giving more and more and more. And most cases, less is given in return. But I want to take caution, even as we are accommodating people, as we are caring for people, as we are all about uh, making everyone comfortable, please make time and make sure you're comfortable. Because, listen, oh, hey, hey, the biological clock seems not to favor women. So, my dear, that's why I emphasize, choose your relationships wisely, your friends. If anybody strains you, let them go. If anybody stresses you, let them go. Because the biological clock of women, the way it ticks and talks, I don't understand. So as we accommodate women, we, we actually, as we accommodate people, we have to be cautious. And imagine also staying away from people doesn't help, actually does more harm than good. But we have to be intentional about who we let into our lives. Mm. This rain has come, otherwise I would give you a whole press conference on this topic. I think maybe let me fast pause. I'll come back to it. Let me be cooking my breakfast. As the rain comes down, I come to continue the conversation. How do you do, my friend? A day for you. So guys, I was still talking about women. The biological clock of a woman ticks faster than a moving train. <laughs> I know sometimes they exaggerate, but I just want to bring you to the perspective of that. But this should not put you on pressure. It should put you in a position whereby you have full control of your life, full control of your relationships, full control of whatever happens around you you are so alert so attentive so aware of whatever is happening around you because before you know some things are going to waste your time and time is not on our side this is not to put us on pressure by the way this is not to put us on pressure in any way but it will it actually it should even be to bring you inner peace to bring you in a position of comfort and full control as a woman we can't completely stay away from women because women we mainly thrive by our relationships 
we mainly thrive by our relationships because even when you feel burdened up you need someone to vent to nabs ara tells me you need someone to dump to okay so it's going to be a person there is also this method. Me, I look in the mirror. I can converse with somebody in the mirror. Ha! <laughs> but no, as always. Whoosh! Calm down, calm down, calm down. Whatever I'm cooking is serious with its life. Calm down, calm down. I think let me just keep it open. So we mainly need people in our lives, but we have to be in full control and full charge of our lives. Uh, why I say that, you're going to find that, I, again, this is not, I will emphasize, this is not to pressure women in any way. You, most cases, when you look at uh, the men who are our age mates, Actually, I'm even too young to be having these conversations. But if I don't bring my fellow young men, young buddies, to the realization of this, I don't want to be in in the 50s and I'm the only one looking good. I want a full company of, eh, <laughs> of cute old mamas to gango with. Eh? If you're to look at our male counterparts uh, of the same age, they seem to be more composed, more what? Mainly because, by the way, if you've not noticed, men have very full, they are made very much aware of their relationships. They take full charge in their lives because I think it's just a man thing. A man's just in charge. So women, we have to be intentional. It's not going to be automatic. That's why I say it, we have to be intentional about our relationships. In an African setting, now this this may be this may not apply to all because things have changed. Where I come from, or oh, the biggest percentage of the world, it is men who approach women, right? That means men naturally select who they want to be with, who they want around them. And women accept who they want. So the man approaches you, you accept them. So, so that means men are naturally selective of their counterparts. And women, it's your... Eh? it's your choice it is your responsibility to either accept or dump the application of a man you see why I'm saying more men can thrive better because most cases things that drain people is mainly uh, issues to do with relationships with friends, with the money your relationship mainly but men are in full control their relationships and women that's why I wanted to emphasize more about women. Uh, because we are the one to accept. So choose who you're going to accept into your life. Most cases we take a lot of nonsense for friendship. Most, case, most cases we take things for granted. And when we accept these people in our lives, even though most of them are the ones who approached us or we approached them, we... we we automatically take full charge of the relationship, the caring, the pouring in, the loving, and all that. The woman is naturally a giver. Because we are mainly emotional, you get. That's why for us, it's going to take intentionality to work on that. But remember, if you don't do that, you're going to put in a lot, to take in a lot of garbage into your life. This garbage is going to clutter you. You know what happens to a cluttered colon. It's colon cancer. So you're going to put a lot of garbage in your life before you know your life is a whole cancer and a mess. And once your life turns out to be a cancer, you're going to be now the toxic person. Hmm? The one who is now eating up other people's good times. Like you will not want to see anything good for another person. You're going to become evil. Yes, when your life turns into a bunch of some cancerous thing, you're going to be the one eating up people's good times. You don't wish anyone well. You're going to be toxic. 
and then you're going to be envious of us who are going to be aging like fine wine looking good because we mastered this at an early point in life so my dear peoples in africa okay i do i want to talk generally you know a man of 50 years can marry a girl of 20 years and these days men of 50 years look so cute you guys i, I don't know what's happening they no longer look old the guys are looking so cute you could think the guy is 35 when the guy is 50 you see these guys have learned how to take good care of themselves but where i come from for a woman of 50 to have a boyfriend or a husband of 20 it's a miracle it's a miracle if not next to impossible mm -hmm. that means your age mate as a woman actually can be a very good they can date your granddaughter is my point clear i just want to emphasize this thing of the biological clock ticking and to emphasize more of why a woman should be more intentional about taking care of herself loving yourself to the maximum stopping these things of waiting on other people your friends to cheer you up your friends to talk good of you your man to eh, please do all those things for yourself because before you know you're going to look tattered yes because it is love that flourishes women and peace of mind which comes from mainly when your emotional tank is full if you're not going to feel it, feel it, but you're just going to clutter it. Whoa! Unto you. Now, where did this conversation come from? I was just there thinking, you know, sometimes I think I overthink and I wander into useless things. But after some time, I realized, oh, this is not useless. It is some small sense. So I can share my diluted sense. You guys can concentrate this sense in the comment section. But those are my views. <laughs> Woman, take care of yourself. Sleep well. There's nothing that nourishes the skin like a good rest. And a good sleep. Give yourself rest. You cannot have one thing at a time. I know women are multitaskers. But one thing at a time. Don't kill yourself. Oh. Don't die. Take good care of yourself. Work on your on the relationship with yourself. You, before you know, you're going to see the relationships around you. Actually, this also applies to men. Uh, before you know, you're, you're going to see the relationships around you. There's going to be a, just a natural selection. Eh? If you start working on yourself, loving yourself more, paying attention to yourself more, and all that, it is just going to be a sieve. So, because unknowingly, you're going to be changing your standard of relation, of your relations. And people will just chase themselves out of your life before you know. So just love yourself. Pay attention to yourself. Out, like connect with every bit of who you are. This is going to help you on the outside relationships. Even on your relationship with the money, it will change. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of trash out of your life. You will is when you learn to learn yourself, listen to yourself. Because when you are in a relationship, communication. Your body communicates to you, listen. It needs a break, take a break. It needs a rest, take rest. It needs pampering, pamper it. Before you know, a natural selection is going to occur. And the relationships around you, whoever is not matching that energy out of your life, I am telling you, these things I always took for granted, but when I came to the realization of this, whoa, hey, it's going to give you a different whole kind of, and some people are going to call you proud. Because me, people have started calling me proud. Do I care? I don't. So guys, this is what I'm going to be having for breakfast. This is what I'm going to be having for breakfast. <laughs> I couldn't cook with you because I was busy preaching. But in case you have any views on that issue, what I'm talking about, please put in the comment section and let's vibe together. Okay.
Ja.